If you guys are looking to buy some cheap Mad Mobile coins with really quick delivery, then make sure to head over to thecoinshow.net. You can use code DUCK at checkout for 10% off of your order. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Duck the Gamer back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be dropping some mad coins on my defense uh, because I've done a shopping tree before, uh, but it's on my offense and like really upgraded to I think it was like a 94, 95. Um, and right now, my defense is a 93, but that's just because of my offense basically and some of my defensive players. But there's a few positions I really need to upgrade um, and like drop some coins on because I don't really play that many head-to-head uh, -head games or league versus league games but of course i want to have a good team in case everyone like grind for gronkowski and get the 10 million fans um or just like be really good in league versus league uh so as you can see right now this is my defense i do have some good players uh, like night train lane um i have some of the most fear players uh, like uh, landon collins i obviously have some hero and mvp players it's really just like a mix of all the promos and then i have some base elites which is um richard sherman uh terrell suggs and brandon marshall so i'm definitely upgrading those positions and i'll probably cop uh, a new safety or two because those are like 92 overall right now and then i have a non-boosted uh antonio cromartie so once again i really like to have boost on all my players because i think it like it, it doesn't just help out that position like if i get one raw player in that position like that's okay but i want a player that'll help out the whole team like a plus strength or plus acceleration or something like that uh so i need a linebacker middle linebacker so i'll, I'll look at those right now because i know there is um a few players are right now uh they're like getting pretty high overall for uh, their position so linebacker middle linebacker let's see what's popping let's go like 92 overall uh, i know there's of course me signatures legend and stuff like that but i'm looking for uh there should be some mvps as well i think they're 91 so i might go 91 but dude honestly a signature would be pretty sick to be uh, to have on my defense um i'm not looking for uh james harrison or any of those people like luke kiki that actually be pretty raw card a 92 luke kiki He's only going for 200k as well. Um, his stats are pretty good. So, I mean, he's always probably our... Probably, uh, he's an option, I guess you could say. <sighs> I guess I'll go back to 91 because I think the MVPs are 91 overall. Uh, they they are 91 overall plus two hit power because that only helps out like the middle linebackers and stuff like that. Uh, Dante Hightower, I think I actually have him. Um, but the middle linebacker position is kind of lacking. I mean, you have Von Miller. You have those base elites. Um, but I think I might be picking up Sean Lee possibly alec ogletree i'm not too sure um oh my god shack tom that's a sick looking card right there um and then it's cj mosley so they're kind of all the same in my opinion because i'm not looking like for raw stats because they kind of do the same i mean one might have, like have really good uh let's see what do they have one might have good pursuit or zone coverage or man coverage or something like that this card obviously doesn't have the, uh, those good stats but i'm not really looking like just for raw stats if the card looks cool it has some good boost i'm all for the card it has to be like sort of cheap as well because i am willing to drop some coins but not like too too many coins for that guy's mistakes and if you guys think i'm like too dressed up i came home from church like two and a half three hours ago too lazy to change out of my clothes so just deal with it i i got dressed up for the shopping spree today so uh let's just pick out a, a middle linebacker right now i think we're actually going to get a signature of player so uh there's luke keekley and then there's all the only signature is alec ogletree he's a series three the only one that's not just gonna break our bank uh for the signature players but there are some legends there is a uh ted Bruski and who else is there um there's a ray niche nitsky i don't know <laughs> uh if i butcher the people's names i'm sorry i don't know all these names i didn't grow up like playing football or learning football um but i think i'll have to i don't know guys i think we get a legend i only have one legend on my team so i think we're gonna get teddy for like 350k why not guys why not I just drop some k on the oh i'll take it teddy brewski for 350,000 coins let's go put him on our team uh the last middle linebacker we had uh was brandon marshall like an 86 or an 87 overall he's gonna be like a 96 97 teddy brewski this man is 99 awareness 89 excel 93 strength 88 finesse he says oh 94 pursuit this is actually a pretty raw card from the linebacker so pretty happy about that cop my defense is now at 94 overall uh, i still have terrell suggs and richard sherman to replace uh because they're definitely base elites i really need to replace them so we'll just go to linebacker let's see once they get 92 for 350k levante david Ooh, dan that's actually a pretty cool card uh ted hendrix once again a legend um but i don't think okay once again there's a pretty limited selection it's not like uh cornerbacks or safeties where there's probably a lot of wider selection uh but i think i'm gonna have to pick up dan uh because i believe i already have um one of those players yeah, yeah i already have levante david on my team plus one coins 
plus one XP. So I think I'm actually just gonna get a quick pickup of Dan Scuda. Um, he's pretty cheap. He's around 300,000 coins um, at the very max. So Dan, uh, Dan, Dan S. So it's just like 275k. Maybe we can get him for something cheap like that. Uh, 250k actually just dropped. On the auction house not a lot of profit there uh, but it is a pretty good pickup let's look at his stats uh, everything's better besides one stat which is strength uh, but still it's a very good card 93 excel 88 awareness i have a plus uh, a bunch of people give me like plus two awareness and stuff like that so adding him to the lineup i think i might be able to get a 95 defense Okay, 94 defense. It wasn't too big of an upgrade uh, for my old Terrell Suggs, but 96 overall, Dan Scuda, 94 awareness, 97 excel. Uh, some really good 90 plus stats uh, on that player. So we still have Richard Sherman uh, and maybe, I don't know, Alan Branch. It's, it's just a sick card, honestly. And then I'll probably upgrade uh, Mike Mitchell as well. But we definitely, definitely need to get uh, a new cornerback. Even though Richard Sherman is 90 overall or 91 overall, I still think that I need to get a new cornerback that has some boost. So it looks like the cornerback selection is also very limited. There's only legends right now. If I lower it to 91 overall, it guarantees me hero ones. Obviously, there's some hero Joe Haydens. Um, is that it? Okay. Ooh, Darius Slay. That's a pretty sick card. I know I don't have him. I might have Joe Hayden on my team. Uh, I do not have Joe Hayden. Oh, I do have Joe Hayden. Um, so I might pick up uh, Darius Slay just because that's a pretty sick card. I'm not trying to drop like a ton, a ton of coins on this one guy. So 200k, we can do Slay for Mad Mole Slay, I guess. Um, oh my God, please do. I just, I just don't like breaking the bank on these players because 250k, I can, I can build a pretty decent team. 250k and i'm dropping that on one player so 210k for darius slay the stats are actually not even that good compared to richard sherman he has some stats that are better some stats that are a bit worse um but still it doesn't matter overall he's a better uh card he gives plus two man so that'll help out my other cornerbacks and safeties and stuff like that so taking out richard sherman putting in my boy darius slay he goes up to a 95 overall so my defense is still a 94 overall and i kind of want to get my uh my defense to a 95 overall so I do have a few more players that I can upgrade. I'm um, looking like Landon Collins I can upgrade. So it looks like I can upgrade Jamie Collins and Vince Wilfork because they're both 92 overalls and then the lowest overalls on the team. So I might be picking up a new safety and defensive tackle and that should hopefully put me at a 95. So there's actually like a bunch of safeties to choose from here. Um, I wasn't thinking there's going to be that many, but there is a lot for under 250k. And I don't have a single headliner player on my team uh, as of now, like an elite one. Um, but anyways, headliner is right there, that promo. So if they want to pick up Eric Berry, uh, he, I don't have a single headliner on my team right now, guys. Uh, so picking up something, someone like Eric Berry, I think would be a nice addition to my team. Like, kind of like to have a diverse team. I have my first, I have two legends, a few signature players, a lot of heroes, a lot of MVPs. Uh, but now my first headliner elite player, so Eric Berry for 195,000 coins plus three catch elusiveness and speed on point after attempt so it's not like a crazy plus but the car looks cool um and he's 92 overall so that's something to uh get to my team so maybe a 95 i'm really hoping to get a 95 right here boys 92 to go 96 wait that just hurt my special team so if you put back in landon cons i get a 90 special team and you put back in eric berry he goes up to a 96 overall and still my defense is still at 94 overall my special teams even went down but i think if i upgrade one more position like my defensive tack we might be able to get finally to a 95 overall if we don't i'm just gonna keep on upgrading players till we get there uh but take out uh headliner players what do we got nothing for 200k oh this is this might be an expensive player guys oh my gosh we only have linval joseph plus two tackle He's going for around 290,000 coins. I think we're going to have to cop. We've already dropped like 1.5 mil this episode, if not a bit more. So, oh, we got a 95, guys. <sighs> okay, I think the episode is done right there. We dropped like 1.5 million coins, which is like $30 worth of coins right there. So, a 95 overall defense. We get a flashback pack. Just doesn't do anything because I have never opened a flashback pack this man in mobile um but what i was saying like i like my team better this really is just like a skew of a bunch of players i don't really know besides night train lane their card art looks cool but it doesn't like mesh but if you look at my offense the whole o-line is mvp players i think that looks really sick and then you have uh, herman moore jarvis landry some other six cards so i think my offense looks cleaner and flows better and then my defense is just like a bunch of random positions it's just a bunch of random promos and stuff that i thought looked cool um so once i might like eventually try to get like an all certain team like an all signature or an all headliner team i'm not sure what uh but after the game's been out for a while and the card uh prices go down a bit i might try to get like an all mvp and all hero team 
or something of that nature uh but if you guys have enjoyed this huge shopping spree don't forget to drop a like and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for some new content that i upload every single day madden mobile nba live mobile and sometimes call of duty streams so it's been your boy ducky the gamer and i'll see you in the next one guys peace